Hello everybody, my name is KingCurve57 and welcome to Undertale, the PS4 edition. Now I've played this on PC, but I've never got a chance to record it. Ignore it. So, I figured I would play, get it on the PS4 and play it. I'm really excited to do this because recently I've actually been practicing the genocide run. You know, I've gotten all the way up there. Because, like I said, I've already done this. But I wanted to record it for you guys, so this will all be secondhand reaction, sadly. It's gonna be more gameplay than reaction, because I already know most of it. But let's do it anyway, because I never finished a true pacifist run. I finished a neutral and I went for a genocide. But I haven't done true pacifist, so I'm gonna attempt that now. So let's get right into it. Oof. Confirm. Okay. When HP is zero, you lose. I'm going to be calling myself King. Once I find the K. K. I. N. G. Done. Is this correct? Yes. Ooh, I'm so excited. Whoa. It's a lot smoother than it is on PC. At least, more than I expected. So... I already know the shindig with Flowey up here. You wish I was new down here. Oh, you don't understand. If I had this kind of movement... Oh, if I had this kind of movement options, it would be so much smoother. both. No, I don't want your love. <laughs> oh no, I'm over here. Yes, this is a joke. I like jokes. Yes, I said that clearly. Right again. So I know if you get hit by the pellets, nothing happens. That's done. This is a pretty small box compared to the one you have in, uh... In the Sands fight. I almost said in Fortnite for some reason. Sorry, I've been playing Fortnite all day, guys. It's just stuck in my mind. Hello, Torio. Long time no see. I will follow you in one second. I want to know... I know that I'm very into playing this game. At least, on YouTube. But I only... I only plan to record the pacifist. I'm gonna live stream the genocide because that's gonna take me a while. get used to doing pacifist because when I was playing genocide the switch doesn't even do anything I know it doesn't but uh 
I'm always quick to attack. And I know that you need to do certain things to get mercy out of monsters, so that's gonna be really tricky to do. But hopefully I get there. Hopefully. Because, uh, I might get into a point where, uh, Mercy. No, 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 wait. What if I just flee? No, I can't solve it. You won't let me. I can guarantee that. <sighs> She's like, yeah, you don't do that around here. Yeah, uh, I kind of missed a few of these. Oh. So, I've questioned a lot of the puzzles in this game, like, you could just swim in the water or why she didn't let me attempt it. But, you know, it's a game. Game logic. Okay then. But I can't wait to start live streaming the uh, genocide run, that's gonna be a lot of fun to do. And I really hope that you guys enjoy the live stream. It will be done shortly after I complete the ge not the genocide, the true pacifist run. All right, I'm gonna skip down this hallway. I swear that was a that hallway is always so long, but it feels longer every time I do it. Also, I can tell you this, I did not look this up. One time I actually tried to check behind the pillar for an easter egg. And she, that's where she was standing. She simply just doesn't say anything, it's just dot dot dot. Wait, oh I forgot she gives you a phone. That's right. So the good thing about doing a pacifist is the fact that, uh, everything heals you with one. I took a piece of candy. Woohoo. Okay guys, so... I hope to god I didn't lose my footage, because I double tapped the share button. And for some reason it opened up my share options and that might have ended my footage and got rid of it. But, uh, long story short, we're here. And we're near the end of the ruins. You can't move a ghost with force, but okay. have enough gold. Oof. 
I know that if I get enough gold, I could skip the Muffet fight by eating that. But in order to do so, I'm gonna have to spare one enemy that gives me gold. So frog it, most likely. There we go. Oh. Don't ask how I just dodged that. Just know I did. I don't need to save again. Yes, give me the spider donut. Oh wait, I pushed X to get to get it. I want him to change it to red. I bel- Yes. We got pink names. I will please the wolf Tron. Or my bad, his new name is Yarode. I will please the Yarode. We will have pink names to spare with. I believe middle one is the switch. Yep, this is the uh, carrot. Act Fidgetoid Dinner. And if I eat at least one green. The pink is really hard to see, but it's it's definitely uh seeable. I just wish it was a brighter pink. Or even a red. Oh hi. Uh, act. Talk. Oof. Oh no. Oh, the My controller just scattered on into it. Oh. So you have to spare one to spare the other. Got it. I've actually never tried sparing that one. Don't pick on. Oh no. Oh no. Mercy. Spare. Five gold. Press the blue switch. Blue is up here. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, looks a... Don't pick on. Don't pick on. Woohoo. All right. This one's the red switch. Don't pick on. And this is going to be the yellow one, which is behind here. Mm. 
No. My sheet. I do not want to use the spider donut. I want to save that for as long as possible. Oh, Vegetoid. Not Devour. You put it all the way out there, Vegetoid. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Okay. Vegetoid. You have to, uh, eat one of the greens in order to spare Vegetoid. I'm pretty sure most people know this, but... I'm just trying to display common knowledge that I've played this game before. Which one gave me... Which one gave me five gold? Or maybe they both gave me three, I have no idea. Hello. Who just leaves a toy knife here and... I know someone's already said this, but where did- what did you buy from there? Or is that just your little storage area? I will save here. I want to grab the pie for the Asgore fight. So I want to sleep and then I will bugger about getting out of the ruins. They don't interest you at all. Now, funny little Easter egg, you try to go down there, she pulls you back out. Well, you're about to be glad you'll see someone leave, don't worry. Can I go home? How to leave the ruins. When you beat Toriel to the door and somehow she still gets down the stairs before you, Do 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 I might do a voice for Sans and Papyrus, but I don't want to do one for Toriel. Mainly because uh Okay. I know she won't kill me. You can try your hardest to actually die to her, and it is possible. I know that for a fact. Oof. So you just want to keep sparing her. Oof. I'm gonna try my hardest not to take damage throughout the entire thing.
I'm actually gonna see if I can die here. And she just doesn't want it to happen. I could probably speedrun... Not this game, probably. This and Human Fall Flat are two games I could speedrun. Oh, come on. You can hear me just spamming X, because I've already seen all this text. Guys, we're almost done with the first episode, or part, whatever I end up calling this. I'm here to call it part one or episode one. I don't know yet. I spared the life of more than one person. Yeah, I do. When I meet a relentless killer... Whatever, Flowey. So, I'm gonna leave that off with episode one, if... I'm pretty sure this is old and no one really wants this, but I really want to show... how good I am at bullet hell games. And I really wanted to play this on YouTube for quite a while, so... I'm glad I'm finally getting that chance. I already said that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And as always, I will see you all next time. Peace.